guys, this is iMovie How To, showing you iMovie tutorials. Today, I am doing my second iMovie special effects tutorial. I will now show you how to do an explosion in iMovie 11. Here's the finished result. In my previous tutorial, I had a green screen backdrop on my movie effect. In this tutorial, I'll be using pre-keyed footage, which means it has a transparent background. To start off this tutorial, you go to iMovie Preferences and make sure Show Advanced Tools is turned on. Now, paste the link from the description into a new tab. Then, scroll down to where it says Explosion Pre-Key.mov. This may take some time for you guys to download, so just be patient. QuickTime Player will open. So let's just quit it. Then let's just close Safari. Let's just minimize Safari. Close this downloads window. Now, back in iMovie, you need to go to File, Import Movies. In Import, our downloaded clips, so normally it's in the downloads folder. Now let's just preview the clip. This next step is very important. Make sure optimized video is not checked, otherwise this will ruin this effect. Now say copy files, put in the event you want, in this case I already have an event, and say import. So here's our explosion clip. So let's put our base clip on. To select the entire clip, you can just, again do shift click. Here's the crucial part of this process. Now we need to apply the effect onto the clip below. If you did what we did earlier and activated Show Events Tools, this will work. So shift click the effect and drag it to the place you want to start. Let's make it start here. Instead of green screen, we will select picture in picture. If this is done correctly, it will actually make it seem transparent. You can also resize it. You can move the effect around by clicking on it or by adjusting the corners. Using pre-key footage is a lot more flexible than using a green screen clip because you can just move it around. Before we're complete, we also need to have a sound effect. In my case, I have a sound effect on my desktop. You can also get sound effects by clicking on this music icon and exploring these iLife sound effects and exploring these pretty much built-in sound effects. For now, I have my own sound effects, so I can just drag that in, just reposition the iMovie window in a way so I can just drag it in. And then just drag it to where the peak is. So let's make sure it's synchronized. It's just a little bit off, so I can just drag it like a little bit there. If you want to make iMovie show sound wavelengths, just click on the button right here. So let's just do a preview. And there you go. So, this is how you can make an explosion effect in iMovie 11. Thank you for watching this iMovie tutorial. To see my other iMovie special effects tutorials, or just normal iMovie tutorials, please click the link above. Subscribe to me so you can see future special effects videos. Thank you for watching this video.